In our first example, we're going to be graphing the function g of x equals 3 times the absolute value of x plus 2 minus 1. Now off to the left hand side of the screen you can see there's sort of some guidelines to follow in order to help with graphing functions. The first thing that we want to do is we want to identify what the a, the h, and the k are from our function. So sometimes it's helpful if we write the standard equation for absolute value functions directly underneath. And then we can easily pull the a, h, and k from our function. So as you can see right here, the 3 is aligned with the a, so that's going to be our a value. Now the 2 is aligned with our h, but what you need to make sure you pay attention to is the signs. So if we look at the standard equation, it says x minus h. So think to yourself, what kind of 2 was substituted in for h to turn this subtraction into addition? And we would have to substitute in a negative 2 for h in order to turn that minus into a plus. Now finally for the k value, if we look again at our function, the negative 1 right here is aligned with our k. So the k value for this particular function is negative 1. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to plot the vertex so that we have our starting point for our graph. Now the vertex is a combination of your h comma k, so our vertex for this particular graph is going to be located at negative 2 comma negative 1. So here's negative 2, negative 1, plot our vertex. Sometimes it's helpful to label your vertex as well so that you kind of know where your starting point is. And then we're going to use the a to plot additional points. Now since that a has a value of 3, we're going to essentially use this as our slope and turn this into a slope of 3 over 1. Now starting at that vertex at your starting point, from here you're going to go up 3 and to the right 1. Up 3 and to the right 1. Now you're going to connect these points from your vertex up through the other points and create a ray. Now to create the other side of that V, what you're going to do is you're basically going to mirror what you just did on the right hand side of that vertex and you're going to repeat but now move to the left. So we're going to go up 3 but now we're going to go to the left one. Up 3 and to the left one. And then again starting at that vertex, draw a ray going up to the left. And now we have the graph of the function g of x equals 3 absolute value of x plus 2 minus 1.